Hi, this is Greg Hallett, and I want to take just a few minutes to welcome you to my first ever video blog. Of course, the reason I'm doing this is to explain some things through on the piano, demonstrate some things that are not easy to explain in words on the blog. And um, I hope it works well. I hope that um, I'm able to communicate better this way than sometimes giving you charts and chord substitutions and those kind of things um, just on a, on, a, on a blog post in writing. So today I want to actually go back to a blog post that I made a few days ago about minor chord substitutions. And I want to demonstrate a few of the concepts because I know it was a very boring post. It was full of charts and various things. And um, I'm going to show you how those substitutions can make your music come to life. Now, if you remember, I gave you a few very basic substitutions. I said that the one chord, you could, well, the, you could substitute either a three, a minor three, or a minor six for a one chord. And I said you could substitute a minor two for a five chord. And by the way, whenever I say minor chords, I imply minor seventh chords. In other words, I don't want you to play just a minor triad. Add the minor seventh to it. So don't play this, play this. Now, those substitutions that I just gave you may sound basic. They may, may sound simple, but they really can be um, strung together in ways that are very, very effective. And really, the sooner you move off of one, four, and five, the traditional harmony that we see all over our music, typically, to some of these minor uh, chord substitutions, the more mellow a sound you'll get, and I think you'll like the sound. So I want to demonstrate that for you a few minutes today. I'm going to use a song, a very simple song, um, Just As I Am. We all know Just As I Am, and the reason I picked Just As I Am is because the first four bars of the song are a very simple 1-5-1 one, one progression. It's very common in all the music we, we play to see that progression. It goes like this. One, one, five. Okay, so the, if you were going to break it down, you're playing a one chord for two bars, a five chord for one bar, and then a two chord, excuse me, a one chord again uh, for one bar. Very, very simple, very simple progression. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through some substitutions we can do. For example, you can substitute a two for the five and that'll make a 1-2-1 one, one progression that sounds like this. 1-1-2-1 one, one, one. Okay, so it sounds pretty good. I don't know that I'd use it, but we're just getting started, so stick with me. How about this? Let's change a 1-5-1 one, one into 1-2-3. One, Makes sense, right? Because we're changing a 2 for a 5 and then a 3 for a 1. Okay, so this is what you get. So that's one, two, three. Let me do it again. I'll call them out. One, one, two, three. Okay. So there's one, two, three. We could also, by the way, do three, two, one. We could reverse the order. Again, we're going to substitute a three for the first one chord, two for the five chord, and a one, we're going to leave the last one intact. It would sound like this. Three. imagine some of these substitutions will sound better on some songs than other songs and that's not one that I would I would use but it's possible how about this one we could do a three five one progression we could change the three for the first one chord like this three three five one okay so there's another possibility those are all very basic substitutions you can do but you can get a lot more involved in that and here's the key to it. Number one, remember that you can take a chord and break it up into pieces. For example, if you have a one chord for two bars like we have here, you could play a one chord on the first bar and a three chord on the second bar. You could play one on the first bar and play six on the second bar because six substitutes for one. You could play three on the first bar and six on the second bar. You have all kinds of combinations. You could even play one on the first bar and break up the second bar into part three and part six. And I'll actually demonstrate that in the middle in a second. 
A five chord is the same way. As a matter of fact, this is very, very common. I do this all the time. If I see a five chord, very, very often, I'm going to convert it into a two-five progression. So I'll take, let's say it's, a one, it's one bar of a five chord. What I'll do is break that bar in half, and I'll put a two chord on the first half of the bar and a five on the last part of the bar. So now we can take a simple one-five-one one progression and all of a sudden put a string of chords in its place. Let me show you how we do that. Now, we're going to start with the simple one. We're going to play one-five-one one again, but we're going to just change the, the five chord into a two-five chord like this. One, one, is a slight difference. Let's hear it again. One, one, two, five, one. Okay, two, five, one is better than five, one. So that's a very, very handy substitution to use, not only just, not as a substitution, but it improves the harmony of the song. Uh, two, five, one is superior to five, one. Okay, that's, we're just getting started. Let's do this. I don't know about you, I'm getting tired of keeping a one chord on for two bars to start. So what we're going to do is we're going to play one for the first bar. We're going to change the second bar to three. And then we're going to change the five into two five. So what we're going to play is one, three, two, five, one. And this is how it would sound. One, three, Play anything complicated, but you can see how all of a sudden it's starting to sound a lot better. And let's keep going. How about um, how about this? Let's change the first bar to a three chord, the second bar to six, and then leave two and five um, like we've been playing it, and then a one. Okay, so this is how that would sound. Three, six. And then for the last option, which you can see on the blog post, I actually do um, what I talked about a second ago, where I'm going to take the one chord and turn it into three chords. I'm going to change one, two bars of a one chord into one bar of a one chord, half a bar of a three chord, and half a bar of a six chord. I'm going to change the five chord into two five. So now we're changing a one five one progression into one three six two five one. Here's how it would sound. One, three, six, two, five, one. Okay, here it again. One, three, six, two, five, one. See how good that sounds? It sounds good because it goes around the circle of fifths. I'm going to talk about that more in the next um, lesson that I post. But the reason it sounds good is because of the way the chords are moving. And I'll talk about that and explain how I came up with that progression. But for the moment, just know that you can string together a series of substitutions. You don't just have to substitute three for one. You can substitute a couple of chords for a one. And what happens is you come up with an interesting set of, um, of chords, a progression, instead of just a, a simple one five five one progression. So again, um, we're changing a one five one into, in this case, one three six two five one. All makes sense um, using the, the the rules that I gave you at the start. I'll talk to you more about this next time.